well i guess this is goodbye um don't call me ever yikes i had a feeling about you excuse moi what Y'all, welcome to a brand new episode of the Joy of Life Legacy Challenge. I finally got her outfit right for her work. I'm Sasha. Welcome to my space. Y'all, she's about to go to work. That's why I'm trying to talk as fast as I can. But I just want to show y'all her outfit. I let her put her hair down because it is the first category. And I'm paranoid that if I put her hair up, then that hairstyle is going to be for every single other clothes. And I just didn't want that. So, yeah. No, you're going to work. So, we're going to go on a date after the work. She's just kind of like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So, yeah. Y'all see her outfit. It's so cute so after work she's gonna take care of herself and then we're gonna go on a date with her so that we could continue this blind date stuff she feels like she has bad breath even though she did brush her teeth so um she has probably needs a breath mint or something so hopefully she does do that for herself explosive malfunction i'm not i'm not even here what what i'm not even here princess is back home she's feeling embarrassed because of her bad breath yeah dang i'm sorry girl but yeah, no, I rebuke explosion. I'm cheating that. I'm sorry, y'all. We're not doing that. We're not playing these games. So right now, I'm going to just have her brush her teeth because I just do not want her to be paranoid about stuff like that. So let's just have her brush her teeth. Maybe she should also practice speech in this mirror just to gas herself up, tell her she's cute and stuff like that. Then we're going to go ahead and just go on a blind date. She it says princesses enjoy cleaning and doing household chores recently there's a sparkle of joy when things are neat embrace the change okay so i'm not gonna embrace it only because if she gets it two more times i'll believe it kind of thing you know because the neat tree does kind of come often for me sometimes and yeah. all right so let's go ahead and her cat is feeling uncomfortable are you like what's going on with you honey she can't leave without knowing what's going on with her cat who is this? Oh my god, that's my neighbor. That's the kid. Yeah, Elias. Hey, honey, what's going on with you? You're hungry? Literally, food is here. Baby. The food is right here. I may, I've literally put it for you before. Okay, I'm going to call Latte too, just in case Latte, because I want to make sure they eat. So maybe Elias is trying to talk to her about something. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh invite in elias so he's a, if you remember he's a teen sim who lives downstairs hello, with his child and girlfriend yes. like, hello Ooh, hi elias um I, I i know you briefly from uh your girlfriend i believe anna was her name one second y'all princess you don't even remember meeting anna oh there she is anna yeah she's just gonna talk to him and say hey what's going on why are you here is, are, are you okay is everything good do you need sugar or something and he's like i'm just i don't know me and anna we argued and i'm assuming okay me and anna we argued and it's just hard and i just needed to well, be somewhere else for a bit talk to someone else am i wrong and she's just kind of like you know things happen oh she's a little uncomfortable she's fixated so her egghead trait is jumping she's feeling like annoyed low-key from him because he has a cheerful trait fixated from egghead trait i want to read this one y'all here comes the thought engage in mental activity to capitalize on it so she's thinking probably you know while she's talking to him she's already thinking about like she was supposed to go on a blind date all this other stuff and he's just kind of here and it's not a good time she wanted to have fun you could tell her fun is low all right i'm gonna ask him to leave because she just right now <laughs> it's not a good time she's like if it's okay I, i'm supposed to be stepping out we're just gonna talk later and he's just gonna say okay thank you so much you're gonna work it out with anna okay thank you so much for talking to me let's go on a blind date and hopefully the sim she meets up with is gonna be an interesting sim she's going out with gunther munch okay let's go ahead to san my shoe now and i don't know gunther munch I feel like he'd be the type to say, let's go to the cafe. <laughs> so we're going to go to the cafe on a date with Gunther. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully. <laughs> They're at the cafe and I don't know. I've never had a first date at a cafe in The Sims. So let's go ahead and do a respectful introduction. I think he's older than her, right? Oh, no. no. They're the same age group. But he does come off older, always wiser, you know? 
It's like, you would have to be so formal. We're like the same age group. It's like, oh, oh, hi. Sorry, we didn't get to talk much on the app. I was just excited to go out and just socialize with Sims, you know? It's like, yeah, I didn't feel that. Oh, y'all. I got some tea on Tabitha. If y'all remember, her baby daddy was still in love with her and stuff. Right, right, right? Look at her last name. Tabitha McNudy. You're probably like, I heard the McNudy name. I don't know if y'all remember the single father and son. She married the single father. Moved into his place. I was like, girl, that's not realistic. You can't even like, there's no space for you and your kids in that apartment. So what I'm going to have them do is in my mind, they're probably saving up money so that they can move out. So there's going to be two free units somewhere down the line in their storyline. It threw me for a curveball that she ended up with him because I their sons are best friends. But like, that's so cute that their brother is now like, that's so cute to me, you know? So we'll see if she ever gets pregnant, has a baby with him and stuff like that, where that goes and how her baby daddy feels that she's dating a guy. You know, Rina. Oh, no. uh -huh. mm. Cute. Rouge Skiba. Oh, Moosh Bepso. <laughs> nice to be going out with a nice, sophisticated <laughs> sim. But we don't know. We'll see what Gunther does. Open. <laughs> Looks like <laughs> Dirk butt dialed her. I'm going to have her flirt with him straight up. <laughs> There's a lot of sins here. <laughs> this cafe is popping. This outfit is a choice. Oh, he liked it. Let's see what she thinks of Gunther. She thinks they have good compatibility. She thinks he's an attractive sim. It's nice. She's like, well, how is it like living in the city? I live pretty far. She's like, really? How far? He's like, oh, no, I traveled for this day. She's like, wow. So you were really prepared when we were talking this morning. He's like, yeah. I thought you were worth the drive. I think that's really nice. This sim looks like my sim from Single Lady's Father, kind of. Let's go ahead and have a deep personal conversation. Like, just something about, like, tell me your facts. I think he has a son. So Lucas, so. right? Lucas is his son, right? <laughs> is Diego also his son? I don't know. Uh, is, she's talking about how she likes food and she works in her cooking career. He's like, I think he likes writing. So cool, writing. Tribna. Please. He's talking about streaming. Maybe he thinks about doing writing streams or something like that. So, hmm, internet stuff. You know, I really don't do a lot of internet stuff. I don't even have a laptop. And he's like, what? That is so isolating. She's like, yeah, well, I use my phone, though, and I have, like, internet connected to my building. Wi-Fi. And he's like, what? There is not much chemistry here. She's just gonna like try to make a flirtatious joke. If the date gets bo more boring than this, child, I'm gonna go on another one and I'm sorry, but I will. Oh my god! Dirk is trying to text her while she's at a date. I'm sorry, Dirk, I'm gonna answer. But y'all, this is so weird. Like, the, nothing is moving. And like, the date is almost half, how many minutes left? Okay, sorry. There's a while left, but still. All right, I'm going to try again with Gunther. If he tries to shut me down, I'm leaving. All right, so what I'm going to do is give a flirtatious joke. Like, she wanted to make a little joke. She's feeling silly. Okay, okay, he's feeling receptive. But I need you to, like, continue the conversation. At least her and Terrence have more chemistry than this. It could be the cafe energy that's getting them. He's, saying, he's telling her, you look dressed for the weather. It's like, bro, tell her she's hot. He is feeling like he's enjoying spending time with her. But come on, this is not like a friendly date. This is a... He's feeling flirty. He's feeling flirty. Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. He's feeling deeply connected to her. Okay, wait, something is something changed. Y'all, 
Okay, because I was like really thinking Gunther is not feeling her because if y'all remember, he was kind of shutting her down. But even though they're only just friends, he's feeling deeply connected and he feels like he's, you know, valuing this quality time. So his love language must be quality time. So just spending time with her. So for her, I feel like Princess might be more words of affirmation because I feel like she's not fully connected to him. He's not talking much. And I feel like for him, just being around a sim that he find something with is more than enough for him so i'm just gonna go ahead and have her i don't know exchange numbers maybe ah, let's see how he's acting but yeah. uh -huh. so, so. he does like her more than she likes him <laughs> which is good i guess he's a creative sim oh this sim was like it's cold <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about asking him about his ex, so let's go ahead and do that. For some reason, that's something on her mind. She wants to know that information. Has he dated in the past? So, could you tell me more about your previous relationships? Oop, she got a sad moodlet. She feels fizzled because she forgot what she was going to ask him. She probably had more questions about his ex. She feels like that he's totally digging her, so that's making her feel confident. And she feels like she there's good vibes and the conversation it, it, it was getting deep it's just not on a romantic uh, sure. level for her so it just feels like she's on a friend's date you know it is 9 52 p.m he does think great things about her but i feel bad she's gonna ghost him so i'm just gonna say uh something came up i have to go yeah date was unsuccessful listen it was she's gonna be like something came up so right now out of spontaneity she's just gonna be like oh my god my friend something happened to her but in reality she's trying to go on another date okay let's go ahead and have her go on a male blind date this area is so stunning plumba king did that like do y'all see the details here you could just walk in between like oh so beautiful okay but the thing i wanted to talk about is that it's winter but the decor for season is the autumn like spooky decor and so that's one of my pet peeves with seasons is that i what okay I want to say I love when businesses know it's the season and they're decorating that's so cool capitalize off of it, right but they don't know when the season's over so it's going to be spring and it's going to be looking like this she wanted to go on a better day okay so she's on a date she literally texted on the app and found someone oh, and now she's about to meet the sim right now so he's like yeah the sim's already here let me go ahead and take you to the table and she's like really he's like yeah they, the sim just came by a minute ago and she's like oh okay well cool does she even know <laughs> she's like, Devin, my neighbor okay Devin, hi he's like hi princess oh my god oh my god her neighbor that she never really sees because you know he's a medical student and he's in like he works at you know the hospital so she never really sees him i do want to say hi to him though um let's go ahead and tell him uh he looks good you know you look good i know you've been working probably all day right i mean it's like oh thanks you look good too princess the sim is by Redwino on Tumblr and Twitter. They make such beautiful sims. If you want to see a closer look at Devin so that y'all could get it. So this sim was like from like, um, he was like supposed to be like Professor Utonium. But I ended up just naming him Devin Lee because I think it was for like a Halloween like sims dump. But I was like, he's too handsome. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I was so distracted. He's definitely such a cutie pie. Look at how she's looking. Oh, she's feeling this date more. <laughs> she's like, is it embarrassing? Like, I can't believe it. we're neighbors and we met on this app. He's like, we're two good looking people. We should be meeting anybody we want, right? And she's like, I guess. But you know, for me, I don't really go on dates like that. It's, it takes the pressure off when I do blind dates, you know? It's only my third day out here. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> and so i think that she's just gonna have a conversation just regular talk you know nothing Luna, too deep about her past oh he's Larger. telling her she looks radiating i love that Neva? she's just kind of oh. like oh Lisa, no. you know it's like it's such a small world that we bumped into each other Luna? on a dating Mola app Shibane. you know it's like you don't even know the person in front of you right he's like right i didn't even know you were on those apps and that's really cool you know like, yeah yeah it's really great we met on a dating app <laughs> 
like she's gonna butter him up <laughs> like <laughs> my goodness. Oh. her charisma went up oh, she has a crush oh on Devin. Oh, 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 oh. y'all she didn't feel that way about gunther i could tell y'all that see multi-unit neighbor mm-hmm yeah, this is her neighbor and she's feeling it she's feeling it i told y'all oh and they in the club tenants together yes uh, look at that face y'all only telling me that's a girl who low-key crushing <laughs> sorry i'm living i'm living uh -huh. his apartment though is such a douchey vibe i mean not in a bad way but like it's like gym and randomness but so she's gonna have a deep personal conversation with him you know she's just kind of really like you know we we do prioritize a lot of our, our work, right? I mean, that's why we never see each other. Simba, it's like, yeah, Blows I'm gonna keep it real. I am really busy. Shabina. And she's like, yeah. Princess has learned that he works as a medical intern. Told you, at the T-Pose Medical Lima. Help. Okay. He said he's talking about how he used to work as a babysitter before he got to work at the T-Pose Medical. That's cool. What is she thinking of telling him? Talk about the current weather. Oh, Oh, he's talking about how he likes gaming. Yeah, in my mind, he likes gaming. He does public streams on his channel. Um, I don't know if you know, but he does stream. He does chat streams, though. So he's one of those, like, you'll just see, like, you know, on, on Twitch, when you're scrolling, you'll see somebody just have something called just chatting. That's kind of the streams he does. He does play games, but, like, it's just literally him talking. He really sucks at him. And it's not a bad thing or a good thing. It doesn't matter. He just, he likes to talk. So that's kind of how he makes side income before fully even transitioning into the medical career so that's his goal though he wants to stop streaming in the end and just focus on being a doctor you know so she's gonna ask him for future plans oh he's a charitable sim oh he does oh he's thinking about how he's really enjoying his time with her i love that he's like you're so fun to be around i enjoy spending time with you that's really kind oh my god okay they're having a pleasant conversation so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have her flirt with him just straight up bold pickup line. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, she finds him very attractive. Okay, so. Oh, he felt it. <laughs> yes, Devin. He's feeling elated. Oh, passionate from that. Damn, Princess, you got the power. Okay. She's thinking about asking about exes. This is a very interesting, like, for her to just think about how many people have you dated in the past. I mean, that's a smart. I guess it's because after she met up with Terrence, now she's having this as a thought because I could have sworn she never did, you know? Like, who's screaming? You are so. I swear to God. I swear to God. My... This safe file, they're just so dang loud. <laughs> I'm gonna put the volume down because y'all y'all remember last episode when Lou was screaming at the top of his lungs I'm, not done. Like, oh, he's I'm putting it. I'm putting the volume down cuz <laughs> Ooh, What is she thinking compliment his appearance? She's like you look good Like you said that already. It's like oh my bad <laughs> She, I, they, they even forgot to order from the table. That's how much they've been having so much fun. <laughs> Let's go ahead and order something. So I'm just going to have them order. I'm going to have her order a root beer flu. And he's going to order a soda. I don't think they want to drink on this date. They just want to like have fun. So I think they're just going to order pizza. Just make it feel like it's a diner experience type of vibe, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and have her exchange numbers so that they could just keep in contact. Is he feeling like he's out on a date now? Oh, no, it's just out to dinner. He's telling her a story about his experience in the hospital. Oh, he's feeling the he's feeling the same way it goes. Wow, we that sim is irresistible. Devin has a major crush on Princess. I mean, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me behave. Oh yeah, let's actually check what he thinks of attractiveness for a princess. <gasps> he finds princess to be extremely attractive and princess is finding that she feels closer from quality time and he's thinking they're gonna have happy memories together and for them they have kindred it goes like-minded sims as they are these sims will have no problem building a relationship oh kindred oh can y'all have the first kiss now okay great i want y'all to have a first kiss at this date 
she hasn't had her first kiss in a long time too so she's really feeling you know what i'm saying she's feeling something she's feeling in it so she's gonna go for that first kiss with devon too Ooh, i'm sorry i am living for them i am i really am Oh my gosh, it's like, just like the movies. I'm having my moment. Aww. She's like, I have that was okay. He's like, of course. So this date has been so fun. Um, hopefully the service for this food is good. She's like, yeah, hopefully. Let's keep it light. She likes the small talk. She doesn't want to go first date. You know, that makes sense. Oh, they're thinking of each other at the same time. I don't know if you know, by the way, fun fact about Princess. She has her mother's birthmarks. So this birthmark, the brown one, she has like one around her chest area, and then she has this red one on her thigh. That's exactly the same ones her mom has, and then she has her dad's dimples. So she, Princess, has dimples on her face just like her father. Fun genetic details Ooh, about her. Yadabu, yadabu. Right, then let's go ahead and sit together. Ooh, she's getting her cramps for her period. Oh, maybe she's like about to get her period soon discuss woohoo preferences like what would you like in the brink of lenovo is that a little too Lenobo. forward though <laughs> i guess she's just curious though you know because she's thinking that's what people probably talk about right like people probably talk about woohoo and all that important stuff and you know because again she's never woohooed but again she really likes Devin, so she's just thinking i'm trying to say anything <laughs> and i don't even think Devin's like that so that's funny though Oh, she's a little insecure asking him. She wants to ask him about his exes again. She did talk about her past with her boyfriend. And I don't think he has dated yet. You know, she's just kind of like, I've been, f he's, I, you know, he's probably like, listen, like, I know that I might be just 21 too, but honestly, I haven't been in a relationship. I'm inexperienced. I think he should confess that though. I think the mod allows you to confess being in, um, inexperienced i believe it's called he's not allowed to confess it yet but you know what they could just eat food looks good excellent quality yes thank you chef oh, he's feeling that burning <laughs> desire uh excuse 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 moi what oh my god bro oh hell no man what the fuck she's gonna talk about romantic compatibility she's curious do you feel the chemistry between us? Because I do. I think there's something here. Do you want to go on another date next time? Okay. Let's see what he's thinking. Let's look at Devin because I'm looking. Oh, he's feeling uncomfortable because he's crushing on her heavy. Say something. Oh my god. He probably feels like she's carrying a lot of the conversation. <laughs> smooth talker. So I guess when he was talking good, he feels like he's smooth, but like he needs to talk and he feels like princess is digging him so this is his first first ever kiss so yeah he has not dated he doesn't have much experience so now he's feeling like he's on a dinner date before i said out to dinner it changed to dinner date um and then let's see he feels like he made a good friend out of her he feels that he's comfortable that's good he likes the decor he likes the vibe the conversations are flowing the dish was immaculate the weather is nice okay things are aligning nicely so for her she feels like he has dreamy eyes oh he does honestly when i look into his eyes i'm like oh my god tiltering banter so she doesn't feel like you know that he's not talking much but she actually feels that way about herself she feels uncomfortable and she's thinking i need to talk but she did talk a lot and yeah let's see yeah but you know overall i think they had a great first date so he's like how do you like the area she's like i like it i'm gonna have him embrace her hopefully i can find it oh she's thinking about kissing him i think after he embraces her let's go for it let's go for the kiss listen she is feeling it let's go physical intimacy Date complete gold medal. I didn't even chase the requirements. I love that it went well for them. He's like, it was nice hanging with you. I hope, I hope it was okay that I was up that close. She's like, I mean, what are you talking about? A yes, yes. <laughs> she dipped him. <laughs> oh God, is he unflirty? Maybe he didn't like that she twirled him. It's pretty late. Princess has to go to work in a few hours. She was out all night. 
Y'all, Princess is back. She's literally about to head into our apartment and go to bed. I don't know where her cats are. Okay, one of them is here. Where's Latte? Latte is playing with the trash on floor to help. So yeah, Princess is asleep and she's about to go to work literally in a few hours. Latte is just like, oh, Mama's back. Oh, no, that's Mocha. Sorry. Oh, there's Latte. They're both here like, Mama is back. <laughs> I'm going to have her... Um, go to work so princess is at work and i'll be back when she's done work and like i said we're gonna visit devon oh you keeping tabs on me oh you keeping tabs on me uh-uh just when i started dating my ex is gonna message these very disgusting texts where did you find your new significant other at the rebound store and that's why i wasn't really feeling him I had a feeling something was off about him knocking at her door at random hours now thinking that he has agency over her no what do you mean i thought i thought it i thought that y'all had closure it looks like he'll never will he's gonna be petty and spiteful mm -mm. not feeling cool go ahead y'all guess what was reported best sterling had a baby with her man i just wanted to tell y'all she's pregnant and uh baby's already here um there is a retail lot nearby maybe she'll be nice if we get her a gift maybe devon can go with her i mean they are in the same apartment she could call devon and be like hey devon do you want to go uh to the mall i heard Bess had a baby we can give her a gift you know i mean they weren't part of the protest either so <laughs> i know that's so messed up but you know what look look i mean i'm a Ghana. Mr. McNudy, Noemi, don't judge Princess and Devin for getting Best Sterling and Jules a gift, okay? Please, please don't judge them. <laughs> y'all. Y'all. Gunther. Gunther. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gunther asked her out on a date. Is it bad? I'm curious. And where is this location, 14 Midtown Meadows? Isn't that my apartment? Because I call it Bridgeview North, right? But they call it Meadows. You know that glitch where they keep choosing the name? Like, what do you mean 14 Midtown Meadows? I'm sorry, I'm curious. I'm sorry, curiosity got the best of me. <laughs> like, where, when did he move to this place? This is getting weird. Not her going on a date with two neighbors the same night. Help wait or do you think that that apartment is the fancy condos in the area in newcrest i did I, that that build doesn't have all the cc objects in it so it's really under construction i'm gonna keep it all the way real so if it looks a little crazy viewers discretion is advised <laughs> no this is the fancy condo right Wait, wait, I'm in, am I in the fancy neighborhood? Damn, this place is nice. Come through, you got money like that. Maybe the one I should be accidentally having a baby with is you. No, where the hell am I though? I'm sorry. I got whisked away. <laughs> and then I see, I see the Willow Creek family. Wait a minute, am I Willow Creek? No, I'm not. Y'all, but I see the Kim family here. I, I don't have no residential rentals other than that one area. Princess, think about dancing on tables. Help. No, you're not. I don't even think this is this man's home. It's getting weird. I'm traveling. One second. No, 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 no. This man. This man gave me a scam of a date. He whisked me away trying to act like he was rich. And then we're at these people from Willow Creek's home. Princess is weirded out. He lied to her. I'm out. Deuces. I'm sorry. They're like, what are you doing in my home? Oh my God, y'all see that? She has a weird sentiment. I don't know about who, but it has to be about Gunther because he lied. She's in Willow Creek. <gasps> y'all, look at what Gunther said. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Um, Don't call me ever. Yikes. I had a feeling about you, Gunther. Nobody wanted to hang out with you either, Gunther. Okay, I'm trying to go back home. You called me, okay? Don't forget that. I did not go out of my way because I called you. Bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Don't call me ever. Who the f are you? Yo. 
she's feeling bored y'all like she was she interested in gunther you tell me this face telling you that gunther is the finest thing walking and she's so interested she's gonna stop everything she's doing no she's not no she's not sorry but gunther got under my skin with that one okay <laughs> I was just had something against Gunther, nothing really, but just something, you know. So me and my neighbor Devin are gonna go to the retail lot in the area and buy something for Bess and her man. Oh, my other friend is here, basement guy. Anyway, we're gonna go to this retail lot. It does have like I think like antiques and stuff. So you know, Bess does like stuff that come off like it's bougie. So hopefully there's something of her stature you know i'm a little nervous you know so i'm gonna go to a different retail i feel like you know devin's kind of like there's nothing here and she's like yeah right honestly i thought this was a place to go so let's go ahead and he's like i think i know a different mall somewhere else let's go travel so they're gonna go ahead and go to another yeah, location cool. take the bus together <laughs> so they went shopping and now they're at best and jewel's apartment i don't know the baby's name they decided they didn't want to share the baby's name with me <laughs> so i'm gonna find out when the baby ages up to an infant and you know the baby's room was already so cute so i can't wait for the baby you know to see their room and stuff i mean will they even know it anyway so you see De devin's a doctor devin's looking over the baby like the baby looks good everything is good but yeah best was on something but you know at least when she was talking to her man it showed that she was happy but maybe princess just brings something out of her because like i felt like princess was probably like one of the only tenants at her and devon to get a gift everybody else protested you know and i feel like princess was like i didn't protest you and so did devon they're like we did not protest we didn't even know there was a protest we were working <laughs> you know Anyway, all this to say is that they decided to put on some TV, some sports. They were just hanging with them for a bit. And it must have been really cold because everybody was wearing their cold outfit in this apartment. Welp. <laughs> um, other than that, you know, I got the gifts. I got them like stuff like, you know, cleaning, like, you know, like face masks, you know, per like flowers. Um, Best did not like her gift, by the way. But Jules liked his gift. I got him like a shampoo and he really liked it, which I thought was nice. Devin got them some clothes and stuff like that. They like Devin's gift more than the princess's gift. But anyway, let's have princess actually go back to her, no, actually her apartment. Let's go to Devin's apartment and cook him some dinner. All right, let's go ahead and buy some traits. The, I want to buy the always welcome trait. I'm supposed to get the entrepreneurial trait for this gen anyway. So I think I have the coins for that actually. So let's go ahead and get the entrepreneurial trait. Yeah, so I'm supposed to buy this one, entrepreneurial, right? And then I want to buy the always welcome one because you know she's going to cook right now. And so basically I used up most of my coins. I only have 80 coins left. So let's go ahead and have her... Um, bake because i want to work on the baking skill so let's just have her bake something with him let's act like he's baking with her um hopefully it could be something fish pie uh, let's do that actually i wanted to make it something savory it's pretty late you know she's kind of like another late night with you oh my god <laughs> he's like yeah let's have him cook with her I was like, okay. you know you know how to bake she's like yeah you already said i'm a baker he's like well you know it's nice to see my home have something being made you know i usually use the hot pot and she's like hot pot you should totally teach me about that he's like yeah i have an electric kettle and stuff and she's like wow like i don't know how to use this stuff and he's like yeah i got even a you know protein shake maker thingy and she's like what like yes educate me on all of this stuff like i don't really know all about a lot of this stuff she's just gonna eat here like i said he does he does a gaming setup oh there he is so yeah she does he does gaming and you could see like he does some gaming some streaming so you know he's eating here devin's gained a subscriber on switch that's good for him he got some followers and now they're both watching tv together <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh no, Sims Link issue, y'all. Their TV got a bad connection. It could be the storm too that's messing with the TV. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my god. I guess she could just talk to him, you know, they could have like a deep conversation. They're both on a bed, you know, just fun, casual conversation. Well, that must be sucky tv's not working like, yeah it's okay though oh but uh, it's really making an annoying noise
I have to call Sims Link tomorrow. Yeah, I might have to do the same thing if my Siri does that. She's like, I'm glad that you had a positive experience in your dream. So they're talking about, I guess since they're in bed, they're talking about dreams and stuff. All right, she's like, I'm tired. I have to go home, but it was nice hanging out with you, Devin. So Princess has went on three dates so far. The first one with Terrence, there was genuine connection, but he was just too much. The second date she went on was with Gunther, and he was more connected with her. Actually, he was better than Terrence in the sense of he actually even contacted her. Now, was he rude in the end and everything? Well, yes. And was it really bland in the chemistry department? Yes. Princess felt they had a stronger friendship chemistry than romance chemistry it said that they were polar but for him he didn't feel that he felt a stronger connection with her she felt awkward after the bad date i went to look at his tea found out he was completely in a relationship loki i mean he has a soulmate full love bar friendship bar like why are you on a blind dating app looking for sims oh no so then the third date is devon so far he's a green flag they hung out even more than once it wasn't a date but we'll see if there's more that's gonna come out of this friendship while working on this episode i thought of putting princess on social media and making her a blog and i could title her blog like baking food goods as my dates or something and she could compare like you know what i'm saying while she's working on that baking skill kind of thing and it being dating and i think there's a mod i have in my game already by a deep indigo that does talk about blogging and stuff so we could work on that as a skill for princess what do y'all think and not only that i will put it on my tumblr uh posts like of her baking compared to like these dudes so i will link y'all my tumblr of course as always below so y'all could follow me there and see princess's little quote-unquote blog on my tumblr and of course i will show y'all sometimes on when i'm recording and stuff for sure so that's pretty much a summary on all princesses dates please tell me what you think about them do you think like who's your favorite be honest maybe terrence was your favorite maybe it was gunther maybe it was devin or do you think that Princess and Cole will get back together and that there's a second chance? Go to my community tab and answer the question because it's there for you. You'll get more answers in next episode, but I do not want to spoil next episode because on a scale of 1 to 10 on crazy, it is a 10. I'm very spooked, shook to my core, and I don't want to spoil it. So we'll meet again next time. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sasha and I wish you all a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Take care.